pulmonary arterial hypertension, or PAH in short, uh, is a condition of high lung pressure in the blood vessels leading from the heart to the lung. In PAH, the pulmonary arteries constrict and become increasingly narrow. Progression of the disease is characterized by inflammation and remodeling of the blood vessels. The endothelial cells multiply, the smooth muscle cells increase in size and number, and the fibroblast cells multiply. Consequently, the walls of these vessels become thicker and less flexible. This narrowing of the pulmonary arteries restricts blood flow to the lungs and causes an increase in resistance, which causes the blood pressure in the arteries to rise. This explains why the impact of PAH is not limited to the arteries in the lungs. Over time, as the heart tries to maintain normal blood flow, the right side of the heart has to work harder to pump blood through the vessels in the lungs. This causes the muscle walls of the right side of the heart to become thicker and enlarged. In some cases, over a period of time, the heart can become tired and overworked. Less blood will circulate through the lungs, picking up less oxygen overall. This may make people with PAH feel tired and breathless. If PAH is not treated, the heart can wear out from the effort of trying to pump blood through the lungs. Our pulmonary arterial hypertension belongs to the group one of the pulmonary hypertension international classification. Uh, this group one, which is pulmonary arterial hypertension, has several subgroups such as idiopathic, in which case the cause is unknown, or it can be heritable, which means it can be inherited from parents, or due to drugs and toxins, or associated with certain conditions, such as connective tissue disease, HIV infection, high liver pressure, congenital heart disease, or schistosomiasis. The physical impact or the sign and symptom of primary arterial hypertension are caused by decrease in oxygen-rich supply throughout the body and the effects of overwork and tired heart. Some of the most common symptoms are shortness of breath during physical or normal activities, feeling tired at all times or chronic fatigue, dizziness, especially when climbing stairs or prolonged standing up, chest discomfort, heart beating fast, fainting spells, swollen ankles or legs, dry cough. PAH can affect any one of any age, sex or race. This is more common in women aged between 30 to 50 years old. CTD um, stands for Connective Tissue Disease uh, Associated PAH and it really describes a group of autoimmune diseases that can cause uh, PAH. These are, for example, systemic sclerosis, systemic lupus erythematosus or mixed connective tissue disease. By far, systemic sclerosis is the main cause of this group of CTD-associated PAH. It is important to screen for CTD PAH because early on there may be no symptoms or only very mild symptoms. The treatment options for patients with pulmonary arterial hypertension can be broadly categorised into three main groups general measures, supportive measures, and PAH specific therapy. General measures include the avoidance of strenuous activities. The avoidance of pregnancy through careful family planning and the use of appropriate contraception and timely vaccination for influenza and pneumococcus. Supportive measures include the use of oxygen for patients who require long-term oxygen therapy, the use of diuretics to help to relieve organ congestion, and the use of oral anticoagulation to help to prevent thromboembolism to the lungs. PAH-specific therapy mainly targets three main pathways. The first pathway commonly targeted include the synthesis of nitric oxide, as well as the nitric oxide, soluble guanylate cyclase, and cyclic GMP signaling pathway. The second group of medication actually targets endothelin receptors, and the final pathway targets the prostacyclin pathway. Patients living with PAH may not be able to keep up with the active lifestyle they are used to. A task that would normally take an hour may take several days or more. A few minor adjustments may help them in conserving their energy. 
we advise patients to prioritise activities and set a realistic goal. Over-the-counter drugs should be taken with extra care, as some drugs may have interaction with blood thinners, warfarin, while sedative drugs can cause adverse effects on the patient with pH. Do consult the doctor for advice first. We do expect our patients with pulmonary arterial hypertension to follow up regularly with our clinic. During the clinic visit, we will assess the patient's response to treatment and assess if they have any clinical deterioration. During the visit, we'll do simple tests such as blood tests, for example, the anti pro -BMP to see how congested the organs are and whether or not we need to increase the dose of diuretics. We also look at the liver panel to see if there are any complications arising from treatment. A regular echocardiographic screen of the heart will also be done to assess the right heart function. At the National Heart Centre Singapore, we have a pulmonary hypertension clinic, which is a joint clinic run by cardiologists from Heart Centre and respiratory physician as well as rheumatologists from SGH, especially for this condition. Additional benefit of the pulmonary hypertension clinic is that patient has the convenience of seeing three specialists in one clinic. Uh, the specialists can also discuss among themselves as to what is the best uh, treatment for the patient's condition.